Hello, I'm Leona Dooley and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Tyne in the kitchen. And today we're going to start off with just a quick chat about the new year, 2020. Can you believe it's just around the corner? It's amazing. And uh, I have to first say how thankful I've been through 2019. Um, I've been fortunate, the channel has been growing, and I hope that it will continue to grow, and all of that is due to your support. And um, I just, I, I thank God every day for uh, each of you, and uh, those who are with me, and those who are yet to come. And so, um, we're in the process of transitioning from Christmas, wow. What a fun time was Christmas. It seems like my house has been in Christmas mode almost since uh, uh, the 1st of November and transitioning everything over. And certainly I've enjoyed every moment. And for some things, I've even been working on probably a couple of days even prior to Christmas. But um, we were blessed and Christmas was a wonderful time. Um, we have had a situation with uh, colds and the flu, and I don't know about your family, but our family has definitely been under, under attack. And uh, I may sound a little nasal today because uh, one day is cold, the next day is hot. We had 60 some odd degrees yesterday, and uh, today is constant rain and it's chilly and uh, you know when you're trying to dress and trying to go out you just don't know what to do and so um, I am just happy to be back in the house where it's warm and um, I can keep things a little more consistent now this week in the kitchen is of course because it's New Year's week um, I'm starting off with more normal dinners and looking at more normal cooking and putting my house into a more wintry mode because certainly over the first, just before Christmas, winter officially came through. And so uh, I'm gonna spend the month of January uh, just enjoying winter and what winter is all about. And as you can see behind me, I have a winter wreath that I've already put up. And uh, I'm gonna be adding some things to it. This is how I left it. Uh, prior to uh, Christmas. For Christmas I added things to it and I really like this wreath because it's very transitional. I can add things to it, I can take things away, but the basic wreath is there and that's the way I planned it. And so we're going to add some things to it that's going to give it more of a, a wintry feel uh, along the way this week and uh, we're going to do some things in the kitchen that's going to be new and different. So I will take you through that as well as I continue to take Christmas down and try to get everything packed up. And today we're going to winterize this wreath. And uh, if you're interested in what I'm gonna do, stay tuned. All right, so we have added our white netting and I'm working on a bow. And I don't know if you can see this ribbon, but it has uh, silver, a little gold, or kind of a gold champagne color. And I am going to put together a nice bow and uh, I'm gonna keep it simple, but I want it to add a little bit of sparkle to what we're doing. So let's, we're going to put about five to six loops in this bow. I'm going to make sure the loops are pretty even. And you know, when we twist, okay, we got two and two. Let's put in a third one. Then we'll twist and put in one more. And we're going to twist. 
twist. All right, so we've got three and three on each side. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to make a loop for the center right there, put my finger on it and twist. Okay, so we're gonna put this together. There we go, we've got our three and get our pipe cleaner in place. I'm gonna take it back to the back, holding tightly, and I'm just gonna twist the whole thing. Okay, so there, we've got our bow. <clears throat> Done by hand. All of our little bows, and this is our center. There's one. This one's ready. There's two. And I'm probably going to take that to about here. So let me cut that off. And I'm going to dovetail it. Even though this is a pretty sheer ribbon, I kind of like it. And I like the looks of it. Looks very rich. All right, we got our, our bow, and it's very soft. And let's see if we can get this. You'll see I kind of shifted things a little bit, but our bow is going to go right here. Right here. And see how it adds a little iciness to our arrangement. So I'm going to take the the legs of the bow, and I'm going to twist them around to the back. Well, okay. One, I can find the other one. Let go. Oh, there it is. I think I can get it back there. Right there. And twist, twist, twist on the back. And then I'm going to tuck it in to the grapevine. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm also going to adjust some of the picks that are on this wreath so that we can get the full effect of our bows and everything, all of our little loops and everything in there. Won't get so tangled up. There we go. And have our green wreath that's there as well. So we can even put some of this here some of this here, and right here, I need to do a little securing. So I'm gonna get another garland, and I'm going to attach it to our grapevine. Okay. How's that? Okay. Now, I don't know if you remember when I was working on the swags that I took this greenery and I threaded it into my ornaments. And I was able to make them kind of have a dangle look. Well, that's what I'm going to try to do. And this one's doesn't have a large hole, but we'll see if we can do it. I'm going to put that down there at the bottom. 
I think I can get, I don't know, I may have to attach it to something else. This is a little thick. And both of these, it looks like uh, I'm going to need a thinner piece of, uh, a thinner piece of pipe cleaner. So that's the first one. And I'm going to twist, twist, twist. You can see where I burned my hand. We were serving coffee at church, and uh, the person who was pouring poured the scalding hot water for the tea by accident onto my hand. And so I am nursing a, a situation. So here I have uh, this one. Still looks like little snowballs. <laughs> And actually, this one's large enough where I can use this and fold it up. And I'm going to let these hang. So that's one. I think I'm going to put that one at the bottom, maybe. I'm going to try to get this in over here. But I think what I'll do with this, I'm going to cut this off. Cut that off completely. I'm going to put this on the opposite side. That way I can still use that same piece because that is my last pipe cleaner. Okay, so this is going on here, and I like doing things in threes. So here's our piece. I'm going to fold it up so it will stay in place. And I'm going to kind of put it not exactly in half because I want them to, one to be a little higher than the other. So it will kind of, uh, I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to wrap this around this garland. have a piece of string that's stuck in there. I'll get that out. And then once we get this into place, that's kind of what it's going to look like. So let's see if we can get these snowballs on. Okay, there we go. And I have my side where I want it. I think I want it to come out of here. And so I'm going to have to work this through and behind. I can feel it. There it is. But I don't want it too tight. I want it to hang. And I want some of this greenery to kind of come in the middle of it. How about that? And let me find a good attachment place. I have it. Let's see if I can put get it in there. So I'm going to work on that. Let's see if that will stay in place. There. Let's see how they look at a distance where you can see them. Okay, now I think we need a few more over here. Okay, we added another um, snowball on. Now I could certainly keep going, and I think I certainly may add a few, just a little more twinkle to it in some places, and then we're going to be done. All right. Now, I think this is where I'm going to stop, considering that uh, this is just a temporary wreath. And uh, it's just there through the winter. I think I like where it is at this point. 
I love those little snowy items in the center and our little lacy snowballs that are around. And I do believe somewhere I have a few more. So if I happen upon those, you may certainly see those over the next day or so get added in. But for now, I think I'm pretty happy with where we are with this window wreath. And it's going to look very nice and keep us in a very wintry mood. So, winter wreath, check.